Hello Pokemon Trainers! The name is Trainer Connor. If you enjoy this Wi-Fi battle that I'm going to present to you today against Angel of the Night 091, well, hit that like button and subscribe to see more Wi-Fi battles in the future. This is yet another OE match against Santa. Wow, what a fun match. This is gonna be my favorite battles against Angel of the Night 091. Now, he begins with a Noivern. If you wanted to U-turn, I'm fine with that. I could go for a Volt Switch. But guess what? I actually predicted him to start out rushing and switch out and <laughs> go into Jolteon the way he does. And that was kind of a safe play on my end. I took my time with that. So we're going to go with a couple of Shadow Balls. And unfortunately for me, he has a Pakaya Berry, which raises your attack, special attack rather, by two stages. And that's kind of unfortunate. I do, however, switch in the Surruff, aka that would be my fur from expecting another Shadow Ball. We need to figure out what to do about this Jolteon because he surprises me again by going for a attack. Now, 50% chance? That's kind of a toss up there. Here I actually go for it. I could have switched out and gone to something different, but really, a plus 2 Jolteon? And as fast as it is, I don't want to deal with it. So we're going to battle it out, and unfortunately for me, I get immobilized all two turns, and I'm going to lose my Surruff the Fur Fro, so without it doing anything, that's kind of a loss for this team. I wanted to try him out, maybe some other time. But his loss is not in vain, because I'm going to Mega Evolve with my Pro Blade X, aka my Mega Gallade, to go for a Shadow Sneak. I felt safe going for that move, even if he wants to switch in to something different. Well, we can just go for that Shadow Sneak and go from there. He goes into Kirk, his Kingler. I was not sure what set he's running. He goes for a Crap Hammer here, and jeez, that did a lot of damage, and that's because of a critical hit. But I need to have my fist sharp around, just so I can hit several things on my opponent's team very hard. Expecting another Crab Hammer, we're gonna go back into, or actually go into Paramedia, which is my Amoongus. Physically defensive, bold nature. I used him in black and white, and now we're gonna bring it back in battle in Boros. Alright, so, expecting a switch out, I actually go for a stunt spore by Mist. That's unfortunate, because had I hit it, I would've been faster than this Noivern. But, you know what, we're going to go for, for risk here. And he missed his hurricane as I go for a confide, a move that my opponent kinda didn't expect, but you know, that's kind of a unique move on a I didn't know he would get that either, and we're gonna try it out and it actually works out. Sort of. I mean, I keep going for these confides, and it, like his attacks keep going, like, two hit KOs and stuff, like, that's not enough, really. Or confides. I need to go for like six of them if I want to at least cut his attack power in half. If you know what I mean. If you don't, that's fine. Anyway, so with that said, I go into Predator, which is my Salamence, and this is what I'm talking about, okay? That attack did over half, and I went for a couple of confides. That's just not cutting it. I don't want to lose Predator yet. And so I go into Bishop expecting the Clefable to switch in, but for some reason he switches into Kirk yet again. I'm not sure why. Had I went for a Dragon Dance, I would probably, you know, knock out some Pokemon there, but that's neither here nor there. Expecting another Crab Hammer, I'm going to go back into Pyravidia, take a couple of hits, and go for a Giggy Drain. Now, he could have switched out gone into his Moivern, yet again, to sponge the attacks I'm going to go for. But I wanted to play safe, like I said earlier. He's got to make those safe plays, guys. That's how we battle. We make the safe plays if we have to. Now, I have a Mega Gallade. He has a Mega Abomasome. And I'm like, ooh, this is a good opportunity to say, okay, we can go for that confide again because of the blizzard attack that I might see, but un unfortunately for me, he has a physically based Obama Snow. 
and that's just uh, I keep just like misplaying with a moon disc right here. I go for a spore and I believe that I just went for that because I wanted to sacrifice the moon disc. I'm not sure why I did that. I have to admit. So I lose my moon disc, but not the way I intended. That's okay though, we go into Fahrenheit, Sponge, a overheat to my opponent's Pokemon here. I hit the Noivern, who's going to go down to the hail, and that worked out pretty well. He finally brings in Clefable, Kristen, and I don't feel like switching out right now. I mean, I could, but I just don't feel like it because I, I'm pretty sure most of my Pokemon don't like getting hit by a Moonblast as of right now, as of this moment. So what I'm going to do here is go with a couple of overheats. Yes, I am lowering my special attack in the process. However, if I can sacrifice my sharing height here, then I can get a free switch in into Saber, my Bisharp. And we can go for a couple of iron heads. That was my game plan there. And because he didn't set up Stealth Ops or any other entry hazard, thank god that would have been very, very bad for this team because I'm switching out a lot. I'm really happy he didn't set up Stealth Ops or anything weird like that. That's okay, we can go for a couple of iron heads here. I hit the Avalosaur coming in. I'm not sure why. I don't see why we do that, but I guess I can't blame him because half of his Pokemon are not going to like getting hit by an Iron Head from Saber. So I'm just going to go for that Iron Head and we just take out Avalosaur. So Avalosaur is gone. I still have my Mega Glade left, and that's going to be important later on. He goes with a chance his Conkelger. And Conkelger, I actually thought that my Predator would take a couple of mock punches. But my guess is his Conkelger is probably Guts or something. So I don't get a chance to use a Salamence this fight. That's unfortunate. <laughs> but I do have my Pro Blade X still alive. And we're gonna go for a couple of cycle cuts. We go for a cycle cut right here, and we take out Kristen, and that's great. Now we don't have to worry about any moon blast coming my way. Unfortunately for my opponent, a mock punch is not going to quite cut it. As I resist it, and I go for a couple of cycle cuts, he barely survives, and I'm just gonna finish this fight off with a Shadow Sneak. And that's the end of a great fight. So, thank you, Olena, aka Angel of the Night 091. If you enjoy this Wi Fi battle, hit that like button and subscribe to see more Wi Fi battles in the future. I'll come at you with another Wi Fi battle this weekend. Be on the lookout for that, and I'll see you then. Alright, goodbye, trainers.